Greetings, pilots. We will tell you about the aircraft classes in World of Warplanes, about their features, effective usage, and role when operating in a flight with your comrades. Currently, you can choose from four aircraft types in World of Warplanes. They are attack aircraft and light and heavy and carrier-based fighters. Let's take a look at each of these types. Light fighters. These planes are made for gaining air superiority. Their goal is to destroy enemy aircraft. They can easily destroy carrier-based fighters and aircraft of their own class, but they struggle to deal with heavy fighters and attack aircraft due to a lack of firepower. However, light fighters are superior in mobility and maneuverability, and this is usually one of the decisive parameters in a dogfight. Making an assault on the ground targets using a light fighter is usually ineffective, dangerous for the aircraft, and a senseless action for the team. These planes are better off at vertical or horizontal maneuvers, depending on the country of origin. German and American aircraft are better at gaining altitude. Soviet ones are made for maneuvering in combat. The players that prefer dynamic gameplay should like the light fighters. They are very good for team play and for destroying enemy planes in groups. These aircraft have enough speed and mobility to answer a call for help while on the opposite side of the map. So if you enjoy constant fast-paced battle and have a need for full control that is unforgiving of mistakes, then these planes should be a good choice for you. Attack Aircraft their parameters are directly opposite to those of light fighters. These are heavily armored planes with the highest durability and firepower of all types. However, their low speed and maneuverability makes it harder to utilize these features in air combat. The main goal of attack aircraft is the destruction of ground targets. They are best at surviving sustained AA gunfire. An ordinary fighter will take a long time and will lose at least half of its hit points when trying to destroy an AA gun. The attack aircraft will do this in a matter of seconds, receiving next to no damage. They are better suited for low altitude flights than others. Whilst flying like this, the planes get a bonus to their camouflage and their vulnerable belly gets covered. This is a needed advantage because attack aircraft are not a good class for dogfighting with other classes due to their lack of mobility. This is compensated by having an onboard gunner, which covers the rear of the plane. If an attack aircraft manages to get an opponent into its sights for several seconds, it will be enough to deal some massive damage. Usually, it is even enough to destroy the target. Never try to shoot down an attack aircraft head-on. You will most likely be destroyed. Even ramming is not an option, as it is quite possible that the attack aircraft will survive and you will not thanks to its high durability. So in the right hands, the attack aircraft can pack a surprise even in air-to-air -air combat. The gameplay with attack aircraft is the slowest in comparison to the other classes. On one hand, the warfare is quite simple. You only have to destroy static targets. On the other hand, attack aircraft are really dependent on the team's actions. It is very vulnerable to fighter attacks unless having team support, and it is hard to shoot down fighter planes in one. But it brings a lot of satisfaction when you manage to do so. Heavy fighters. If we compare them to the light ones, we will see that these planes have more durability, firepower, and they can carry bombs or rockets. The speed is also higher, but at the cost of maneuverability. Their mission is interception. Thanks to a lot of available afterburner time, heavy fighters gain altitude easily. They destroy their opponent in a fast, powerful burst when diving from high above. They climb back up or escape to the side afterwards. These planes are not made for mobile combat. Heavy fighters are vulnerable to highly mobile, lighter ones, although some have a gunner on board who is capable of dealing high damage and even successfully shooting down an enemy plane. Light fighters are also vulnerable to head-on attacks against heavy ones. As a last resort, a heavy fighter can escape their opponent by using their afterburner and taking advantage of its greater speed, or you could lose them whilst diving if you have the required altitude. Apart from hunting enemy aircraft, heavy fighters can also destroy ground targets, but carrying bombs and rockets dramatically affects speed and mobility. The controls of an already heavy and not so mobile aircraft become really clumsy. If we compare it to ground forces, then a heavy fighter can be compared to a sniper. It is located near the main combat location, picks an easy target, and destroys it with a single well-aimed strike. Carrier-based aircraft. This class is interesting. The features of these airplanes cannot be described briefly. If we try and generalize it, we can say that they have traits of both light and heavy fighters. Which traits stand out depends on the country of origin. 
American carrier-based aircraft are closer to heavy fighters. They are heavily armed, have high durability, a long afterburner time. They gain altitude easily and can lose an opponent during a dive. Japanese planes are more like light fighters. Their lack of durability is compensated by high maneuverability. They are unmatched in this field. The main advantage of carrier-based aircraft is that they offer several combat styles for you to choose from. You can install bombs and rockets onto your plane and try to attack an aircraft play style. Or you can play as a pure-blooded light fighter by choosing not to. The peculiarities of each class offer interesting tactical possibilities when playing in a flight with your friends. Let us show several examples. A classic flight consists of three fighters. You can use aircraft of different countries to compensate for the faults of the others. The main goal is to stay together and use the airplane's potential to its fullest. One attack aircraft and two fighters. In this flight, the attack plane destroys ground targets and acts as a lure. The fighters must stay close, but at a higher altitude, and closely monitor the skies to cover the attack aircraft from approaching enemy aircraft. If a dogfight, the attack aircraft can also help its wingmen. A flight of one heavy fighter and two Japanese carrier-based fighters. In this combination, the heavy fighter plays the role of bait and the main damage dealer at the same time. The Japanese can provide solid cover thanks to their high maneuverability. So while the carrier-based fighters distract the enemy, the heavy fighter can climb up safely, gaining the altitude necessary for a comfortable dive attack. One carrier-based fighter and two heavy ones. The tactics are similar to the previous flight, but this combination will require more skill and coordination from the wingmen. The carrier-based fighter will need to act as bait, actively engaging in mobile combat, whilst not allowing the opponents to escape the battle. The heavy fighters will attack in passages, knocking out the enemies one by one. Other combinations are, of course, possible. For example, a flight of attack aircraft, or two attack aircrafts and a heavy fighter. The search for an effective battle combination is an interesting part of the game. Try it! That's all. Good luck in your battles!